And now, from lockdown, it's Any Day Update with Liz Lanier and Richard Martinez. The matchmaking business in Long Beach has been booming. To speak about her business here in Long Beach, we have Auntie G. Hi, Auntie G. Hello. How are you, Liz? Hi. Hi. Auntie G, can you tell us a little bit about your matchmaking services? Oh, of course. I can tell you everything about matchmaking because I am the expert. Mm. So I myself call myself Auntie G. You can call me Auntie G. And I do matchmaking. I find you love. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, you know, we have very, very sad people in this world maybe like yourself, Richard, and uh, we help you to be happy again. I feel like I've been yeah. put on last year. <laughs> your background is so extravagant. Where are you, Auntie G? Is this your, like, office? Oh, yes. No, it's not my office. I wish it was. Uh, but this is actually a wedding I am planning. Oh. Um, I actually do wedding plannings too. So uh, you get discount if you use matchmaking and you get married. So come use Auntie G's matchmaking services. Um, Auntie G, um, uh, hypothetically, say that I, I, I was sad and single and lonely and crying into my pillow every, every night. Um, if I was looking for love and, and I did hire you to help me find that, what would I expect from that? Oh, no, no problem, Richard. I will make you happy again. Don't worry about that. Uh, I can tell you're a very sad man. So basically what I do is I match people for you. We look at your bio data, you know, bio data is like your uh, dating resume. You know, what you like, what you don't like. You want tall, you want small. You want little mouse, I get that for you. Whatever you want, Richard. And then we look at your, also your astrology. I do astrology as well. And I will look at your chart and put it together and then find you a nice person in my, my database. Great, um, I, I, I do want to specify that I, I, I don't date little mice. Just, just, to, put, just to put that up. That's okay. No one is here to judge, right, Liz? We don't judge. I feel judged. So, Auntie G, can you tell us about people you've matched before? Yes, of course I can tell you. I can't go too much in detail because, you know, we have that uh, client matchmaker confidentiality that we do. Um, but, you know, I have quite a bit of clients who are very satisfied. Um, and, you know, I had one fellow, he was a singer uh, with his brothers, you know, and he was lonely, kind of like Richard. And, you know, he was really sad. And then we, I found this nice, nice Indian lady for him. They're very happy, you know, very happy. Wait, is that, uh, is that the Jonas brother? Yes, the Jonas. That's oh, Priyanka. Yeah. How do you know them? Yeah, you know, I don't like to say names, but you know, I was there and you know, as you can see, I was giving my thumbs up because they got married and they used my services, so. Uh, no, I know you have like, you know, client matchmaker confidentiality, but are there any other like couples you might be able to tell us about? Oh, Richard, stop twisting my arm. <laughs> I, I mean, I have another couple, you know, also another sad fellow like yourself, Richard, that he was lonely. But I found him nice American girl. You know, he said, I want, I want to be American. I said, okay, no problem. Auntie G is here. I will take care of it, no problem. Uh, so yeah, I found him nice girl. She from here actually, Los Angeles, you know, and uh, she, she, they're very happy. I also did their wedding as well. That's Megan Markle. That's my girl, Megan. You matchmaked Megan Markle and Prince Harry. Oh my God! Again, you know confidentiality. I don't like to give names, but you know they're people, just like you and me, and you know Liz, you and I. Wow, that's amazing. You're amazing, Auntie G. I know. Thank you, thank you. Everybody tells me that, so. 
Don't oh. worry, Richard. I make you happy. Don't worry. Okay, so I really want to be happy because it seems like you can like potentially maybe connect me up with some sort of famous celebrity, which would be awesome. Um, what do you need to know from me to or or us to know you know what our perfect matches would be? Well, I I know you gave me your uh, date of birth, right? I think do astrology, so I actually have the horoscope for you if you want me to talk about yourself and tell you what your future looks like. I can put it together, and and then I also have some you know potential peoples for you. Ooh, I'll start with you, Liz, if that's okay, because I like you more than Richard. Thank you. So, Liz, if you can look at the chart that I have here. Uh, it is uh, happy face, giving thumbs up, Auntie G thumbs up. Very so, nice. Auntie G thumbs up tells you that if your pretty will be fine. So oh. I will find you someone very nice, which I have. So uh, if you are ready, I can show you his bio data and then maybe I can match you up. Okay. Okay, so you see this fellow here? He goes by the name Harry. <laughs> Harry Potter? Okay, one, love. Two, is he, I want to say he's not real. No, 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 no. He's a real boy. Okay. You know, like Pinocchio was a real boy. You know, he okay. kept believing, believing, and believing. It became a real boy, right? I, you, you know, I'm into it. He's part of the Harry Potter franchise. That's a lot of money. See, I know, I know what you like. You like money, this. I know. Don't problem. I will take care of you. So, yes, yeah, so according to his bio data, you know, he is driven, motivated. He likes to fly. I know you like to travel, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. And he's a family oriented, close to his friends. Uh, you have friends, right, Liz? I do. That's why I matched him to you, Liz, not Richard. But uh, anyway, he also likes to want to have a magical time. So I know you like you are a magical person, Liz, so I wanted to make sure you have someone who can take you around the world and give you a magical time. So. Wow, that's so sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I was really excited to find out who you matched me with, but I'm a little bit nervous now. No, no, no don't be nervous, Richard. I will, I Auntie G, right? I am your auntie. Okay. okay. So I All will right. take All care right. of okay. you. Okay, Auntie G, what do you, what do you got for me? Okay, so you, I looked at your chart, and it's a little rocky, but you know, we will fix it. Uh, so you can see here, we have someone looking for love, right? You're looking? <laughs> sure. So, and we have a, we have a, a, a emoji with the, with the eyes, with the heart, you know? So, you know, it's a lovely eyes you have, you oh, know? Thank you, thank yes. you. But we also have emoji where the emoji is covering the eyes because it's like you looking for love but not looking for love. So it is tricky. You are one of my tricky clients, but you know, I have not failed so far. So I will find you someone nice, which I have. Oh, okay. Oh, who, who, who is it? Okay. You're, you're ready for this match? Yes. Okay. No problem. So this is your bio data. He goes by the name Jack. Yeah, yes, very, very exotic name, Jack. Uh, he is once, he's fun. He wants to have a good time. Uh, he likes to sail. Uh, he likes boats. He likes island hopping. You like islands, right? I, I, I do. Is mm -hmm. that Captain Jack Sparrow? Oh, yes, 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 he is official, you know. Yes, he's a captain to his name. So, so you know, it's his high rank, right? It is not like no captain if like he had no captain name. So he has captain name. So so it's good. I feel like maybe he has a bit of a drinking problem. It's not drinking really. You know, he likes to have good time. Right. And I feel Richard, you need have to have good time too. Right. You know, he's looking for a partner who is unique and a free thinker. So I feel, you know, you should be a free thinker. You're already unique. Just need somebody to like you. So. <laughs> That is, that is true. Auntie D knows. I am your auntie. Don't worry. I think it's pretty, pretty spot on, Richard. You might need to, you know, convince him to take a bath. I mean, he's no Harry Potter. All right. Well, thank you so much for that. Do you have any tips for other folks 
who are trying to find love in quarantine? Oh, that's a great question, Liz. Very good question. You always ask great questions, Liz. I, I, I ask questions too. Right, Richard, right. Uh, so, uh, you know, I came up with some tips for people to find love during the pandemic, you know. So I always tell people, you know, you should, to find love during pandemic is you should start with turmeric. Do you know what turmeric is? That yellowness, yellow powder. It makes you healthy. I tell people, drink turmeric. Richard, you may need to drink some turmeric. Maybe that will make you a little happier. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, then also you should you should know your core values. You know, you know what is it you want in life. You know, you want tall person. You want short person. Richard, you want mouse? I, I don't want a mouse. Ooh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, he's married. Never mind. He's Sorry. taken. I was thinking. I was thinking about him for you, Richard. But you know, my bad. I, I don't like mice. Ooh, the mice in Cinderella. They were also taken. Yes, I tried. Richard, you know, I tried for everything. I tried all my clients, you know. Uh, and then join a running club. It's good to run. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, for you, Richard, if you join running club, they will run to you, you know, towards you, not away. But, you know, it's okay. There's, there's always the mice. Those are my, my, my tips for you. Great question, Liz. Great question. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Auntie G. Um, this is the part of the interview where, I, where we'd say, oh, it's been such a pleasure having you and you're welcome back anytime. But. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, if you need my services, I have a website called antigmatchmaking.com. You know, marriages are made in heaven and we make it happen. Uh, just remember all sales are final. So remember that, Richard. Got it. It has been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much, Auntie G. Okay, I will see you in like 10 minutes, right, Liz? We're going for that coffee, virtual coffee date, right? Yes. Thank you for reminding me. I have that on my calendar. You guys, that's We're fine. friends, I, Richard. We're friends. I got, I got, I got people I'm going to have virtual coffee dates with myself. So that's, oh, it's cool. It's fine. Cool. See you soon. Okay, thank Bye. you. This has been a message from an Any Day Update special correspondent. She was cute. Was she though? She was. I feel personally attacked. That's all right. You gotta get at least attacked once in order to grow. By a mouse, apparently. Um, well, that's our show. Uh, I'm Richard Martinez. I'm Liz Lanier. And this has been Any Day Update. Join us next week. Have fun with your coffee date. Aw, it's okay to be jealous. Still get jealous. What is that song? Nick Jonas? Well, see, he has a song. I, I still get jealous. Yeah, 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 there you go.